Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Savi channel. Uh, as previously I have presented uh, and we have explained the theoretical background of the uh, seven segment. So today I will be covering uh, the practical session. So as I have explained already in the program itself, what are all the steps you have to be calculated before uh, putting into the uh, program. So here you can see in the tool that uh, hash include lpc 17 dot h that is a header file has defined a dig one with uh, one shifted with the 26 as I have discussed also that dig one means uh, digit one display which is to be used in the motherboard and uh, that we are using 1.26 for the connectivity that's why we are using one shifted with the 26 digit this is for the declaration. And the next one you can see that unsigned character data 7 with a table. Uh, in the theoretical uh, thing, in the PPT I have explained also that uh, how to calculate and what are all these data are. So here these data are calculated with the 0 to uh, F that is hexa digit numbers. So this is the table which we are going to put it here. And the next part is here void system in it void and you know the system initialization has to be done and the next one is main program starts here and here you can see that unsigned int ij uh, that uh, in the theory also we have explained what is the importance of i and j variable uh, that is basically used for the delay uh, loop calculation purpose then you can see that unsigned int count is equal to 0 so this is a temporary variable which we are declaring here and you can see lpc gpio2 because as in the theory we have covered that uh, what is the importance of uh, gpio2 and gpio1 here so here in the this thing uh, we have to configure gpio2 either as an input port or a output port so here we are displaying a data means it is nothing but uh, it is an output session. So that is why what we are going to do it here is that LPC GPIO2 FIO DIR fast input output direction with a value of uh, FF. So which says that you are directing the uh, GPIO2 for as an output. The next line says that command LPC GPIO2 FIO pin with a FF. As I told it has to be cleared. So initially the data should be cleared that is why uh, which uh, should not be displayed anything with the uh, uh, display unit that is why we are going to send a FF for this and uh, the next line is LP, uh, LPC GPIO1 FIO DIR, DIR as I told that it is a direction register and we are sending a 3C and I have explained in the uh, PPT that uh, what is 3C also. Uh, here why because like we have a 3 digits uh, or 3 7 segment displays. So in that we are going to use the first one uh, to select that particular uh, 7 segment. So we are going to send a 3C here. Then the last command is LPC GPIO1 FIO pin as I told it should be blank. So these are all the 4 steps says that. Uh, what are all the direction flag we had to activate and which port we had to activate and initially what should be has to be displayed on your uh, 7 segment. Then coming to the next line while of 1 as we know that what is while of 1 it is a uh, the program has to be uh, continuously uh, display the data that is why we have to declare while of 1 here and if count if count is greater than f because here the count we are taking initially 0 and we are comparing with f why because we have data of 0 to f to be displayed on your 7 segment. So that purpose we are going to compare the count with f. So if suppose if you are uh, suppose example like you want to display help h e l p so only 4 uh, uh, words are there to be displayed that time this value has to be changed. So keep in mind uh, help means 4 we have to compare. So here 0 to f is nothing but uh, uh, 
uh, hexa number that's why we are comparing with AF and count initially it will be 0 and this is a for loop program uh, for i is equal to 0 i is less than uh, 2500 I have given here. Uh, you, here you can uh, change the display uh, to be very faster or it may be very slower. So for that purpose we are going to uh, declare 2000. So initially what happens here uh, 2500 can be changed according to your requirement whether you want to display very faster or very slower. So for that value you are going to do this one. And next what you are going to do here LPC GPIO2 FIO FIO pin is equal to data 7 count is initially it will be 0 here you can see the count is 0 here ok that count is compare with F because like I should get my first data of the uh, array index of data 7. So here it will be compare or and with F will get a value of 1 so data 7 of uh, 0 you can see in the program the first value is 88. So that is why what we are going to do, so first initial value will be 88 uh, that is you get it from your data 7 count 0 of with a uh, and with a f. So that value you will be sending to the pin then what you are going to do LPC GPIO FIO set is equal to digit 1 as I told digit 1 is the first uh, display we are going to use it uh, that is why we are going to declare as a digit 1 at dig 1. So if suppose you are declaring in a digit 2 means that also you can specify here with a small changes in the program as I told you in the header file ok. Then after that for j is equal to 0 j is less than 500 just for the, uh, sending a data to the digit and uh, clearing we are going in between that two thing we need a delay. So for that purpose uh, j is equal to 0, j is less than 500, j plus plus here also you can change the value for that according to your requirement. So next LPC uh, GPIO1 uh, here you have set the value for the digit 1 here you are supposed to clear your digit 1. So once is done plus plus count so it will be incremented. So after incremented once again it will come here it will check count is greater than f no. So then uh, loop with a 2500 uh, then it will check that data 7 count with a f value then once again the second data whatever it is there e b ok which is to be displayed on your 7 segment it will be taken and it will be sent it to the uh, f i o pin ok and as usual like digit 1 you are going to select it and you are going to send the data. So this is the procedure uh, program explanation in a short ok. As usual uh, after typing what you are going to do you just uh, uh, compile build your program uh, rebuild and uh, you, are you are going to get a uh, so you are going to get a uh, hexa file uh, that hexa file is here. Uh, uh, as you know the procedure from starting what you are going to do it create hex file press ok then rebuild all minimize your kill software and check that uh, which port is being uh, connected your uh, motherboard it is a uh, USB serial port comp 9 so that also got verified then what you are going to do uh, just go for flash magic click on the flash magic click on your flash magic as you know that uh, select LPC 1768 as I showed you it is being connected to comp 9 your device is baud rate is 9600 interface is none uh, oscillator frequency is 12 megahertz frequency then browse your uh, hex file which is being created in a folder called 7 segment then what you are going to do open and start dumping the program. So your program will be dumped into the kit. So once you are done with the kit, here no need of any connectivity as you know you have to connect only the power supply and this is the mother uh, adapter which you are going to connect it and this is for your system connectivity as you know it will be connected to your system. So here you can view that 
the letters whatever it is there or a characters whatever it is there or numericals whatever it is there you are going to uh, uh, view in the first digit as i told this is a digit 1 digit 2 digit 3 digit 4 as i explained in the theory itself uh, so you are going to display 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e f so this is how you can uh, use this one and small changes which is to be made to display in your uh, seven segment maybe examiner may ask you to change to digit 2 means here you have to type a digit 2 okay here you are supposed to change it to 7 okay so which is uh, which selects the uh, uh, second uh, display unit seven segment unit and you can fasten the data or slow on the data which we want to wait means uh, just we have given here 2500 you can change it to any other like 3000 or you keep on increasing this delay value you will get it faster results okay so this is how like uh, what the process to be done and here it is a digit 2 okay and here also it is a digit, digit 2 okay as usual like uh, save your program uh, go for uh, build rebuild and compilation okay as usual you go for your uh, uh, flash magic and already we have browsed this one just directly you can dump the program so once once it is done uh, you can see here uh, how the uh, display is being shifted to second digit so i have given more delay that's why it is taking more time to display the data on the console or seven segment uh, you can view that it is being 0 to uh, 1 it is being changed so this is how uh, like uh, uh, what we can display the data uh, onto the console of a seven segment i hope you have understood the, the theoretical background of a seven segment and also the uh, practical how you are going to implement and how you can change the delay also and how you can uh, change the digits values also to the next level okay at a time all the four also you can use if you change the data like uh, help h e l p or f i r e uh, during the exam sessions they may it depends on the examiner that he may tell you to calculate the different word and they may ch uh, tell you to change it to the uh, changes in the program and uh, execute the program okay thank you very much